Hey, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to go over some other things. Um, miscellaneous items, mainly traps and uh, flashlights, calls, um, and some other things. Um, eye protection that I don't see in a lot of videos. These are things that I think are important. That is something that somebody would want to bring in their bug out bag or their survival bag. But um, I don't see a lot of mention about it on other videos. I always say that I'm the ultimate copycat. I always like to get other people's ideas here and here and here. Um, but uh, there are some things that I do think that it's important for people to, when they're watching a video, is to listen to somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. When it comes to food or, or sleeping bags, I might not be the best person to listen to. When it comes to fishing, hunting, trapping, I'm a better um, person to watch because it's something that I actually do. I live in Idaho and this is something that I do. I actually trap. I actually fish. And just to give you proof, there's a handsome devil right there. That's myself after trapping. So I do actually know what I'm talking about. And I'll get into some of these things really briefly. Uh, this here is called a body trap. This here is called a foothold trap. There's different types. You can get a, the one spring, the two springs, where it's on each side. Body traps range in various sizes, big, little. Um, they're easy. They're easier than they look to operate. If somebody is not familiar with them, they're scary, they're intimidating. But if you're thinking about actual survival, I advise watching some trapping sites. Even if you're a person that thinks, oh, that's cruel, uh, boo-hoo, well... Now, when it comes to you and your family, it's not cruel. Uh, body traps are easy. They're thin. They're thin. You can put them in a box or a duffel bag, whatever else you're thinking about taking with you. Uh, the footholds are a little bit uh, more cumbersome, but they're uh, easier to catch something in than it is a body trap because you need something that size to fit inside the trap in order for it to actually work for you to set this dog here this is called a dog same thing here it's called a dog and for them to trigger that I won't go into the actual setting them up there's other videos out there that are people that are really good at this I just want to give other people ideas on what you can bring with you they make these little cheap red um, lines that screw into each other and if you do get yourself a trap, you want to get yourself some type of metal, some kind of steel cable, some kind of chain, because animals will chew through anything other than steel. And these I found are really handy. They're red, so you can actually see them when they're up uh, tied around sagebrush. But what you can do is you can tie them around sagebrush, screw it on itself, and then have your chain attached to it. Some ideas. Calls, another thing. You can have different kind of calls. This is an elk call. This is a squirrel call. I don't want to do them right now. My dogs will go crazy. All right. That's a crow call. And here's a duck call. Different kinds. They're not necessarily used. I'm uh, not necessarily the idea of keeping these in your bag. It's for calling in game but it's kind of communicating to other people in your party. Um, it's a whole lot easier to crow call to your buddy or your dog than it is to scream out its name like an asshole in the middle of the desert. Uh, an alternative idea of whistles and uh, just screaming. Also, they have these different kind of carabiners I wanted to point out. They're all different kind of carabiners. And they're really good to have too in case you need to hang on to something, but you can also onto onto something like your pack. But they'll also work for um, hooking up your snares or whatever. Um, okay, now I want to get into uh, eye protection. I don't see a lot of people talking about eye protection in their videos. There's different kinds. You can have your um, construction style you can have some fancy looking ones these are just regular plastic on these um, 
Then they have some that are come in a case. These are really nice. They have their own case, their own cleaning cloth. I think it's very important to have eye protection. You're going to find yourself maybe in the back of a truck, um, on top of a train. You might have to look at something that's against the wind that's during the snow or something like that. Then you don't have goggles of any kind. Eye protection is a really good thing to have. Or if something's bleeding profusely, you don't get it in your eyes. The yellow ones, I've heard other people, my, I myself also call them highlighters. They're a lot of what people use for shooting. I've used them for shooting, but nighttime, they're really good. <coughs> Excuse me, they, um, they eliminate a whole lot of different glare and stuff like that, and they kind of make everything brighter when you look through them. Um, but the ones that I advise are the ones that are called polarized. I don't advise anything dark because wearing sunglasses takes away your shadow vision where you can see inside trees or when you're standing underneath something that's dark you can't see as well. But the polarized, they eliminate all type of glare and they actually make things sharper and clearer when you're actually looking through them. These ones are dirty. Um, but you can find polarized eye protection and I think it's a really wise thing to get. The other thing I want to go over really quick are buttons and safety pins. There are different kinds of safety pins. You get these really small ones, which are like the normal ones. But they have these ones that are called Jumbo. They're really sharp. And they're, they're strong. Um, but when you have gloves on, these are going to be really hard to use. These you can use on anything small and up to its size. Jumbo safety pins. Your hands are going to be shaking. I always think of myself in... The worst case scenario, think about the time of the year and the weather outside that you don't want to do a thing. That's when shit's going to hit the fan. So I advise, one of my advice is to put your bag together with gloves on. It's going to change your opinion on what you want to carry with you. Also, there ain't nothing wrong with carrying a couple metal buttons. You can find metal buttons on eBay. I have a sewing kit that I've gone over. Whoops. And... Metal buttons will work on anything, and uh, they're stronger than plastic, and they won't uh, break or sun won't um, crack them. Just an idea. Okay. Now I want to get into flashlights. We all have the big ass double or 4D cell mag light. We all have those big ones. I don't have any of the big ones out here because I don't think they're very practical. Uh, when it comes to flashlights, I'm thinking that something that's powerful and small. These ones are those three lights where you push it, lights up, then this lights up, and then this little red thing goes around it, and it's, um, it flashes red. Also, on the back of it has a magnet to stick on stuff. They're very handy, but they're big. They're bright. They only take two AAAs but they're very handy. They're made in China. They're pretty cheap. You can find one for ten dollars. Um, there are also headlamps. This is a name brand headlamp. I can't remember the name of it. Black Diamond. They're made in the United States. They take a one triple A. Um, headlamps are a great idea if you can uh, remember to pack one. I, I plan on taking a headlamp. There's other alternatives. There's one that's called a power bank. It comes with this strap, and when you click it, it goes from bright to low, then to strobe. And I've messed with my wife a little bit, chasing after her with the strobe, and it is really uh, encumbering. But there are also a power bank. You plug them into the wall, and then it, and then you charge it that way. But then it also has this USB here, where you can plug in your other electronics and you can charge your electronics through this power bank and if you have a charger which I have which I'll I've shown before you can just set that into your charger don't have to worry about batteries your solar charger will just charge it back up and then you have yourself a headlamp regular light nifty idea these are called the solar all um, forever flashlights they make these they have the button on the back, 
a charge on themselves, that's all there is. A button and a charger. If you have this hanging from like your backpack or something like that, it will always stay um, charged. And at nighttime, it will emit enough light for you to see what you're doing. This is absolutely something that I advise to get. Now, there are better, bigger name brands. Um, they have, well, first of all, they have these, also these ones. These are the uh, larger, the 18650 battery. They come with a charger, single battery charger. They're really bright. They do a lot of different things. These are cheap. You can find these on eBay as well. This one's like maybe $5 for everything. That's something I wanted to point out. There are alternatives to having some big monstrosity. monstrosity. This one I've messed around with to try to paint. Maritac, made by, uh, they're sold by Countycom. They make these really nice flashlights. These are one AAA flashlights. They screw on. They have ones that are the old military style where they clip onto your shirt or whatever, your coat, twist on. They also have a uh, copper one, this copper one that I got from there, which is brighter than all the other ones. And it's the best flashlight out on the market right now. It's got weight to it, one AAA battery. They're bright, they have different settings. This one's copper. Um, if you're interested, that countycom.com makes these. These are really good flashlights. This is the one that I will take with me. Four Sevens makes red ones. These are AAA. These are called Prions. And they're pocket clip. And they're pretty bright for what they are. The one I carry with me when I'm out and about in the town doing stuff is my Eagle Tech. It's a one, two, three battery, whatever that style is called, which is brighter than everything else. Um, when it's on, it's brightest everything else, but it's a strange battery, strange size. So when this is what I like to take with me when I'm working, when I'm out and about doing stuff, but it's not going to be the one that I take with me. Also on the back, I have a tritium glow this is a trillium glow this thing is these beads are pretty neat they are radioactive they glow all the time countycom also has these things called a battery locker it just unscrews and inside it is just a one trip uh, double a battery they have an all different sizes but it's something just to keep your one battery your spare battery safe that's something to really consider right there always go with the most common battery you can find you might not be able to find a one, two, three style battery in Moose Jaw, but you're going to find a double A battery there. Another idea is they have these badge holders or key holders that are, I'm trying to do this with one hand here, that uh, uh, coil up and, and spring back. These are a really good idea if you're going to carry a different kind of flashlight, the little. Um, LED, I can't remember the name of these, but you can attach those to that and you can put it on your coat or, or your vest and then you can pull it out, look for something and then let it go and it'll snap back. It's another idea for somebody if they're interested. And um, my main flashlight that I'm going to take with me besides my one single A flashlight is my two uh, double A one double A, two double A. This one's attached to my rifle right now, but it is a four sevens, and it's really bright. And then you just twist it on, and it'll turn really bright. I'm gonna take just double A size batteries with me. I won't lift it on. Um, and if anybody's interested, that company is four sevens. They make the prion as well. And those are some alternatives to some of the uh, really big names, more common big names that we've seen on the internet. Uh, County Com, Eagle Tech, and Four Sevens. Going to pause.
Oh, last thing. Didn't know I turned it back on. Last thing I want to go over are some other things that are like miscellaneous. I don't see any problem with having yourself a little radio, little iPod shuffle. Um, my other video where I go over uh, um, solar chargers will charge this. They make these single earphones that are called mono earphones. It has both sound into one. That way you're not actually taking away the outside sound. Um, I'm really big on keeping your spirits up. Have candy with you. Have some kind of entertainment with you. I'll go over that when I get this. But uh, I wanted to mention that, that they do have these type of earphones. You can find them on eBay. They're mono earphones or one single earbuds. All right. A brain book. If you ever get yourself a book that's a brain book, what I call has like a phone numbers things like that that are things that are on a regular phone that we don't have memorized any, anymore you can fill it all out this is an all-weather one this is an orange one and if you good idea is to keep all your actual phone numbers all your actual addresses physically written down into a bag because your phone might die it might get water and then you'll still at least be able to have information that peop uh, people's addresses phone numbers last names stuff like that writing utensils there's uh, one made by true utility it's a telescoping pen it telescopes out top comes out and uh, there I just broke it anyways it's a telescoping pen and a stylus all in one markers are better to have than just regular ballpoint pens different colored ones in case you want to leave somebody special a message but I advise like with spirits, get yourself something that means something. Here's a Craters of the Moon pencil. Because when you're writing with it, you'll remember, oh yeah, I went out with such and such, and we yelled at so and so. It'll keep your spirits high. Another alternative is solid graphite pencils. I've gone over these before. You can cut them in half, sharpen both ends. The whole thing will write. It'll last forever. It'll never run out of ink, and you can put it in your bag. During Hurricane Katrina, a lot of animals were misplaced. And when people tried to take them to shelters, they couldn't prove that they had their vaccinations or shots. Um, I keep a photocopy of my most current pet information on, on, on in here. That way, if something disastrous does happen, I'll be able to take my dog somewhere. And they'll say, well, are they up to their shots? Yep. I got proof right here. It's an idea. Put it in a bag so it doesn't get wet. That's my hunting license. Nobody sees, needs to see that. Another thing is um, these are really cheap. These are just single-use um, uh, dust masks. You can put a dust mask in your bag. You won't feel the weight. And if you find yourself crawling under a house or near 9-11 with all that dust and stuff like that, you won't be ass out dust masks respirators gas masks are those things that you'll never need until you need one and you ain't gonna find one they're a dollar it's a really good idea to keep in your bag i will something else i want to point out is inside this bag i have uh, some miscellaneous tools this is absolutely something i am going to take with me and it's ready to go as it is i'm going to take with me gun oil um, I'll go over that a little bit when I actually go over rifles and pistols and stuff like that, but I think it's really wise to take a little thing of gun oil. You can find this on Amazon, Hoppies. Uh, keep your tools lubricated. Keep your guns clean. Um, I think it's a wise thing to have and get a plastic bag with some really strong type of paper towels. These are called, um, wow, I can't think of the name of them right now. Um, Wipe alls, wipe all brand. You cut them into little squares and you can clean your, your rifle that way. Um, also, a lens cleaner for your glasses or uh, binoculars or monocular, whatever you want to go with. Um, inside this bag, I have a an idea for some people. I have single use um, insect repellent. 
I have one of those Coligan, um cheap uh, raincoats. It's just one of the uh, plastic ones, the clear plastic ones that you can find. They're like a dollar or two dollars on the internet. And on the other side, I have a mosquito net for your head. It acts as camouflage. It takes away your face. And it'll keep bugs off you. Um, you're gonna if you don't pack anything to protect yourself against rain and bugs, you're really going to be sorry. It's an idea for anybody out there. Um, you can all put it all in the one bag. I put everything in the bags because I always imagine shit hitting the fan when it's raining. This is a super huge chew can that I got from the tobacco store. But inside it, I have uh, my trap. This is my trapping kit. This is what I am taking with me. I got some extra cord and I got those little red things I'm talking about. Flagging tape is something that is a good idea to have because if you ever step off your path, you can tie a little strip around your uh, tree limb or something like that and you can always find yourself, find your way back to where you originally came from. Here's my pulley that I'm taking with me. I'm always going to, I'm big on pulleys. They eliminate half the weight of something you hang it on a tree. The eyelet here swivels. You can fit your cord through there. You can pull yourself up, somebody else up, game up, something like that. Pulley is a really good idea to have. Inside this I have my snares. These are made from, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of it. These are braided steel snares that I'm taking with me. You can find some of these if you find some trapping websites. People will show you how to purchase these. And I'm taking with me a bunch of snares because I know how to snare stuff and I am going to uh, uh, want to eat. So rabbits, coyotes, anything to that size, you can snare with these. And of course I have some Teflon cord that I'm taking with me um, in order in case I need to string something up. They also have these twist ties. You can tie these around tree limbs or sagebrush. You can see the white side at nighttime because it reflects the orange side in the daytime. It's a good idea if anybody's interested in taking these because you keep yourself from getting lost. And this bag has my charger. I'm not going to go into it. Alright, lastly I am going to go into it just really quick. This is my um, Trigula. I can't remember the name brand cooking box, but inside it I have my titanium spoon. I also keep with me a Scotch Bright to clean anything out. Um, here's my charger. I've gone over that before, and some rechargeable batteries. But I'm really big on keeping your spirits up. Here's a little deck of cards. I mean, it's called mini deck of cards. It fits right in there. It's pretty easy. Here's another alternative for keeping batteries. They make these plastic things. Um, uh, here's a little thing. Here's a picture of my niece. I like to keep things. I'm going to keep things with me um, that will keep reminding me that I am human, that I am who I am on those dark, gruesome nights. Here's a catfish folding knife. Here's one of my 20 sided dice. Here's a lucky rabbit's foot. If you have anything that's of importance to you, uh, a good luck charm, anything that reminds you of your girlfriend, your wife, anything like that, I advise taking it. It doesn't take up a lot of space to carry a lucky rabbit's foot. But it just kind of reminds you where you came from, what you're trying to get home to. It's a memento. If it gets lost, big deal. But it's kind of nice when you're sitting there and you got nothing to eat and you're cold. Take out your rabbit's foot. Take out some oil. I got this oil when I was in Salem, Massachusetts from a witch. She gave me this uh, gold fingers, good luck charm oil. Reminds you of who you are. There's um, also, I always put in here, eye drops. Don't forget those. Um, wrist, uh, wrist rocket, slingshot. I knew a guy that could hit with a slingshot. I can't. But it's a cheap alternative to guns or arrows or anything like that. There's rocks everywhere. And then lastly I want to go over is an American flag. 
If you can, find yourself an American flag. I found this at work with a co-worker. It was in the middle of the street, run over, dirty and muddy, and it was snowing. I took it home, I cleaned it up gently, and I believe it or not, this is what I'm taking with me. I can use my uh, safety pins if I need to, pin it onto my backpack, hang it up somewhere. I think it's a good idea to take with you an American flag. It just kind of keeps you who you are and it keeps the spirits up. And if other people see it, they'll feel a little bit safer when it's around. All right, everybody, hope this gives some people ideas. Uh, as always, uh, you have better ideas than me. I'd love to hear them. Um, I'm the copycat. If you have criticism, tell me, tell me the, that I'm doing everything wrong. I don't care. Uh, or I do care. I want to hear it. Um, have a good one.